So we have looked into different type of alerts, low, medium, and high. Now, how do we create those? I want to set up alerts. I want to get notified whenever I come to the dashboard, right? So one of them is that you may want to go and start creating custom alerts. You can run the query, whatever you want it. You can also create incident creation rule. If you create the incident rule, it will come up here in the incident. So if I go back to the incident, which I'm not covering now, when we cover the incident into threat management, I will show you what I can do it. And once it's created, it's going to populate here under threat management into the incident. But these are the ones. So Microsoft has changed. I have 28 active roles, more content and at Content Hub. So Microsoft always changes before I do that. So these, the one, let me go back, Analytics. And these are in the Content Hub. So basically what you can do, instead of writing something new, you can install it. And if you definitely wanted to go and learn more about it, this is part of the workbook. It's an analytical rule and part of eight playbooks. And if you really wanted to know what does it do, there may be known users of Azure Active Directory, which I have showed you, it may have some update for SOAR. So you want to enable it by installing it like Azure Activity, what you can do, you can select all of them. So let's start with the Log4j, which I do not have any Log4j related stuff in my environment, but I can come here and start installing one at a time. So going forward in the lab, I will show you each one of them, not all of them, but I will take an example for the sum, which is provided by Microsoft. I do not have AWS, but again, we can try that. Same here for Google. There are some community base, which is from GitHub. You can also leverage that. They are populated here. So this is a given idea. There are some standalone, there are some solution based, and you can install and then it will start looking or run the queries in and look for those um, data in your logs, basically. So you don't have to rewrite, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So I hope this is helpful. And in the next video, I will start at least give you more than one example to better understand it.